Hey guys, your boy JB. I'm um, back again with another one of these um, old school books. Today we're going to look at the Tom Landry book for these guys. It's cowboy fans, I guess. We'll see what's in his book. Um, hope you enjoy the video. Um, on Facebook, there we got the JB West Coast uh, offense thing going there. The separate page from my John Captures on Facebook there. Um, you know, you guys can check that out if you'd like. Uh, just a little bit of background and history on the West Coast. It, Explains my philosophy on the West Coast and why I run it, and why it works, why it's good. But I've got kind of gotten into these old school books. You know, me and Stevie, me and Stevie Captures has been talking about these books at the gym. We just want to look at them, and I told him that I'd go through here and uh, we'll do some video on these books for you guys, so y'all can be part of the conversation too. We don't like to leave you guys out of anything. So let's get into this book a little bit. Alright, let's see what this book's got in it, guys. Probably a lot of stuff that we run today. Said he uh, he's known for one of the one of the most complicated offenses to run. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we got three in there. Ran the split, the pro twins. The near right, okay. Strong tight, weak twins. He ran the shotgun. Look at that, this might be a book for some of you guys. Some of you, might, some of you guys, y'all might like this book. M might be something different. Let's, let's get into it a little bit here and let's look at this. Just regular plays, it looks like. You know, most of the stuff we've already run. We might be able to take this book online and do something with it. I don't know if there's anything really exotic about this. Let's see what all we can get into from here. Just a little old school book here. You know, he's got a lot of, um... I'm gonna get into the Ace Twins and the Ace from this, okay? He's got a lot of short, short routes. I mean, I'm telling you guys, that's the way to go. That's why they used to play old school football. You know, Stevie T's got his old... The old, the old 5-2 ball, the... The bully, and you know we're running all this old school um, stuff here. We should run some old school offense with it. I think it just give people a different look online. Getting some of these exotic books and stuff on here. We looked at the twins. I won't let you in the ace wing G, but let you go to the ace twins. I might be having the same problems I had the other day. Just thinking wrong. Now this is. I don't know if this is any different or not. No, this is uh, similar to that one. Set. That counter looks nasty. I see. Okay, it's staying in something different. He won't see. This game is so broke, guys, and he won't even fix the damn thing. You know? I mean, I know I'm not in single back, tight end, flipped. I mean, this game is so broke. Everything is like half back down. I think they ought to do better with these audible system on here. You know that they they didn't have this set up this way. You know they weren't gonna check down to a dive or a slam every play. You know I know they had this thing set up different than that. Right there's y'all deep throw for a cover three type look there. Man coverage, whatever you want to hit on that. It looks nasty. It looks like a nasty little play, play action play there. Tight end attack looks real nasty. Looks like that might be a good play. Come out and see cover three or something there. That might be real nasty of a play. It won't matter if he buzzes down at that corner. That 
corner have to come down over there where Streeter is. I mean, it, don't, it won't matter, you know, because if he's in the cover three, and unless he hot routes something, he ain't gonna be in a purple. You might, you might be able to catch Reese in there with that safety buzz down to the flat. He ain't gonna know who to get. He ain't gonna have nobody. And then that one deep safety up top ain't gonna have nobody either. That's looks like a good play. You can always do something with the back too. So. I can't tell what I'm eyeballing into because the game is broke. Zebra! Zebra! Can't tell what you're getting into there. This tight end flip looks exotic. It looks different. It's almost like a. Looks like a nasty little play. Got two people coming. So that edge. That looks interesting. I don't think you can get to this. This looks a little bit different. It's almost like a trip to that side. I'm gonna get into a, Let's check to this pass play here. That's a nasty little pass play there too. We can move these guys in motion. Look at that. We could open this thing up a little bit. That's nice. Let's bring him back. Let him move all the way across the field. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That's exotic. Having guys crossing the middle of the field like that. <laughs> That's nice. It really is. That's nice. That's cool. Hmm. Let's see, him. Let's see what we can do with him. Okay, he just comes in a little bit. Can you move Jones? Will Jones move on this? Look at that. That's even better. <laughs> hmm. That's cool. Move these guys around a little bit. It's neat. Okay. See what's in this twin tight end here. I mean, most of the stuff looks like stuff you can already get into. You know, I I know that this ain't probably ain't nowhere near close to his book that he ran. This is nowhere near close to the book he probably ran. Nowhere near. All right there's y'all streaks for for all you guys that like to play like the other people online. There, there's you, there's your virch play there. <laughs> guys, kill me. How they come out and just run that play. They try to throw it up. Nobody's there, you know. I'm sure I forms the same. Yeah. There ain't much special about this book. Not a whole lot special about it, I think. I said he was a hard to work for. Now this is different. You can't get this. The twins like that. Look at that. That sweep is in there. That's nasty looking too. Look at that, man. Look at that, that's nice. You can move these guys around us. Boom, turn it to a field. And just go. You can't you can't you can't get this twins type look. You have to create this out there. You have to create this from the pro set. Oh then oh that's that's nasty. You come out in that sweep. Like I'm telling you guys in in this west coast right here. You gotta have the fullback. You have to get the fullback involved in the game, cause this is be your check down run. This is real nasty. Them guys see that tight end over there. They don't think you're gonna run to that backside. They're not ready for that. Most people ain't ready for that. You hit them with this play first, and then you come back and you hit them with this fullback belly. They're not ready for that. Most people are not prepared for that. And got into the to the near here now. That's his near. I mean, you can create whatever you want. We can go. We can go here and we can do twins. So I simply moving the guy. See, you know, you can do the the uh, the 
you won't really be in in a while left twins because the full, the the tight end did not move and the twins the tight ends on this on the other side of the field so Reese would be on the other side but this is still confusing because if somebody knows the West Coast offense if somebody knows the West Coast offense they're gonna be like well, you know this is a different look I've never seen this before this must be the far flipped you know and it's not That's nice. That's different. You know, we, you can do some stuff with this book. All you Cowboys fans out there, go, go old school with it. See if you can win a game going old school. You know? I mean, you can't. I don't think you can get that swing smash. You can't even get these plays, guys. Some of this stuff, you can't even get that. Look at that sprint out. Just two people going. Look at that. That's nasty. I mean, you can come out and call that, man. I bet that'd be great against man coverage. That's almost like a quarterback run. Ohio concept. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shot him. That's a nasty little thing. Just roll out there. That's cool. That's an exotic play. Really is that? That's exotic. This book is kind of, it's got some cool stuff in it. And what happens if we moved him to the other side of the field? I wonder. I wonder what what happens if we did some motion. Can you motion? Oh, that's nasty, dude. They even let you motion on this thing. <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> oh, that's nuts right there. That is nuts. That's crazy. That's crazy, guys. It really is. Be motion like that. I don't still let you move him over in front of you. Oh, look at that. And then it even puts him in a route for you. Look at that. We can just bring Murray over there just like he's going to do something. Look at that. I just hit him. <laughs> let them guys come out and try, try to hit you and just throw it to him. <laughs> a little sick. I like that. I like that. That's different. That's a different approach there. That's a real different approach. Got the power roll you can get into. That's, that's got even got a pulling guard there. That play action play look, looks a little nasty there. He's plashing into the fullback. See that that old school stuff. That's what they used to do back in the day. The fullback was so key back then. People just got away from that. These coaches these days have gotten away from that. Like I said in one of my other videos, it's it's a, it's a dying trade, man. It's dying off. I mean, nobody wants a fullback anymore. I think that they're just a key part of the game. To me, they're just another blocker or, or even a runner. You know, it just gives you another option down there to hand the ball to somebody. Or you can do something nasty. And they even got the sweep in this right here. You can do that sweep. Got that pulling guard and tackle in it. This is an interesting book. It really is. An interesting book. It's all West Coast, though. You know, this West Coast goes back a long way. You know, we was talking about that in that, in that Vince Lombardi video. Some of this stuff. This stuff goes back a long time. Look at that fullback circle. You can't even get you can't even get that play. Look at that damn toss. That's that's exotic. Look at that. Holy shit. Look at that, dude. That's nasty. Damn. We might have to play we might have to go with this book. I think there's enough in here. You don't even have to even if you got an audible down, I mean I think you'd be alright because you're gonna go to a half back inside. You're just gonna flip that play, man. Look at that. And then we're just going up in here. They think that toss is coming, sell them the toss. All right, here we go. Sell them that toss play. And then come back with the hat back inside. There's enough here to get you a first down. Everybody knows this Texas route out of this. You got slants there. There's enough there to make safe throws, safe runs. It's all there, guys. It is. It's all there. All there. I'm getting fired up a little bit about this, but it's an interesting book here. There's a lot of interesting stuff in this thing. A lot of inter you, can, you can get a hatback screen in there. You don't even have that. That toss is nasty, though. <laughs> that strong flood play looks good, too. It really does. It looks good. That fullback circle look, looks interesting. I mean, you can almost sit on that damn thing for a minute to see to see how far he can get it. And then you got outside options too. I 
that's interesting. That's interesting how they how they keep us from using these plays in the real game. You know, I mean, it's real interesting on on, on how they put put some of the stuff in these old books, but you can't do it in today's football. Just like if I wanted to run this stuff, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be allowed to. All right, there's another sweep in that out of, out of that tight. That might be something to get the counter in there. I mean, but thing about these books, guys, is you can't change the plays in the game, but you don't need to. Just come out and call plays. Slow the damn game down. They didn't they didn't run no huddle back in the day. Not like they do in today's time. They called a play. If it worked, you know, then they'd call another play into the huddle. They huddled every play. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, there's enough in this book to get you through a game. I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't you couldn't set something the hell up and, and run with it and go you know that's an interesting pass play that semi left I've never seen that that's interesting real interesting you know this is a west coast philosophy here he's got the backs involved in the passing game to me to me that's critical to win to win in football games in today's time it's critical you know I mean I'm not gonna get crazy into this that halfback sweep looks nasty look at that halfback counter trap there that looks good too <laughs> Got the base, the sweep. Let's look at this sweep here. Oh yeah, there's enough here to. I bet a die play is in this book too for an audible. I guarantee this. I bet that base is the is the down. No, actually the sweep is. That's even better, guys, because then you could come out. All right there's you a big a big pass play if you need it. You got your four verticals in there. Got some curls. Okay. Well, since I know that. We won't come out in the sweep. See, that's the thing. You have to practice this book, too. You're not going to be able to just go out in the game. I'm going to run this book. You have to practice this book. You need to know what, what, what audibles are where. So that gives you even even more options here. That gives you the base where you can run the backside. You can run the trap. You can run the halfback draw because you know you got that sweep in there. I, me, personally, I, I would probably come out in this draw play and look at the defense. Look how the defense aligns to this. You can bring people in motion just like you do with the man ball. You know, I could run this this dive right here. If he wants to over pursue, if he if I see him spread that line, come out in the dive, and then you can still run that sweep if you want to, or that counter. Come out in the counter. I mean, you can flip this thing. You can do whatever you want to with it. You know, flip it around. You know. Let's see what else he's got in this shotgun book we can get into. We were just in that wings, what my wing trips. See what else he's got. He got the Y slot. That's that's different too. Let's see what's in here. That extra looks good. Be a nice little play over the middle there. The under Y option. He's got some decent pass plays in here. I wouldn't be scared to throw some of these. Some of these look. I mean, they just look real, real safe too. Got he got the sweep in there and the draw. Quick base. Got the mid screen. <laughs> You can get that play now, out of the spread. They still run that in some places. You got the counter in there. You got the sweep. You just have to come out and call a play. You just have to figure out what your. I wonder what the uh, the, the check down run is. The sweep. Okay, so then you know the sweep is in there. So you know that the sweep is in there. So now you know you can come out in this other place. Come out in this draw or the counter here. Come out in that counter. Because you know you got the draw here. You could come out here with this, and because you know you got the sweep where you can hit the other side of the field, you can come out and just check down to the sweep and go. I mean, you got your nice little spread offense there for you guys that like that spread. Here you go. You know, it's 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 there for you. They didn't give you much far as the far as pass plays to audible into from this. Ain't no audible out of this one. You're in this one. You can get creative in that one though if you if you needed something. You could get real creative because you got them four wide wide receivers on the field. You, you you could get creative with that. If you needed something, you could get creative in the game. I mean, this is where they limit us, man. It'd be awesome if I could come out here and and, and set the audibles how I want them, you know. It'd be awesome. Really would. But I still think that there's enough in this book, guys, to to get it done. 
This is a nice book. The shotgun is extreme. Extremely well. Semi left. I still think that's a that's an exotic looking play. Oh, that's two backs too. That's a two back set. We could bring Reese in there. This is a different play. I like how Murray he, he kind of sets down right here. He sets down right there. I like how he sets down on that. That's nice. Different book, man. Different, different thought process. Like I said, one one of the hardest offenses in the game to learn. <laughs> Listen to all his old quarterbacks talk, and this is different. I still like that. The split is extraordinarily well. I love the split here. They got nasty, nasty plays in this thing. That power sweep. That's unbelievable looking. And his sprint out play is unbelievable too. That's that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Look at that. He just kind of goes with the run. <laughs> that's just nasty looking. It's funny looking. I mean, I think somebody probably picked that, but it just looks cool. It's made to do that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know how we flip this damn thing and let him roll out to the natural side he's going to throw to because he's right-handed. He's a right-handed quarterback. Let's we'll see what happens then. That's even nastier. Look at that. Probably more accurate to flip that one more accurate to flip it if you got a right-handed quarterback you probably want to flip 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 this formation here and what's nice is you, is you can hot route other guys to do stuff we can take we can take uh, Reese here and we can put him in a slant or something if we want to to even add another route to that you know or we can take Y here and put him in something you know we can I don't know let's put him in a in a wheel route you know and then he can just roll out it's a nice little roll out play there you know <laughs> you can build this play, whatever you want to do with it. You can, you can get real exotic, real nasty with it. It's kind of cool. I like that. That's a cool play. I like this sweep here too. I'm gonna reiterate on this sweep here. This is a you can't you can't get this formation. In, in regular books, you just can't get it. They don't even have a sweep in this in the regular. If they did, I'd be using it. But they don't have it. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I didn't put it in a book. Because they just don't have the run plays like they did back in the day in the book. That they have on here, you know, in, in the split back. I, I like the split back. It's a different look than regular eye form. People always think you're going to run outside on this stuff, you know. And then you got the full back belly to run that back side. You get the back side runs on this. It's real nice with the full back. That's why I say the full back is an intricate part of the offense that I run anyway. I don't know what you guys are doing. I guess a lot of y'all run Stevie T's man ball, but my fullback is just as important as my running back. Or just as important as my lineman or, or my tight end. That, that fullback's the key to all of it. I mean, there's nothing real, real, real exotic in this book, but... I think you could win a game with it if you, set, if you took the time to learn the audibles and come out and just didn't no huddle. Call one play at a time. You know, because there's enough in here for, for you to check down to. It really is. There's enough here to check down to. Sometimes I use some of this motion. You know, I, I know Stevie, he don't get into it a whole lot. There's motion. Some of these motions that's made up. Because if you catch a guy doing like, let's say you want to do that fullback dive and you do that motion. Then you come out the very next play and you look like you're going to run the same play again. But but this time it's a pass play. You know, they don't know that, that, that you've even changed the play a lot of times. I mean, I've caught guys sleeping and stuff like this. Because cause, cause then they'll say, well, hey, that fullback dive's coming again. I might I might run that fullback dive two times. And then I'll come back in third, on third down and, and didn't have the no huddle. And then some of these motion plays work. They work well because, oh, well, he needs a yard, so he's going to run his fullback dive again. So then they stack the box. They bring. They do the run commit. They do everything that they can to stop you from getting that, that one yard. You know, and, and if you think he's going to do that or you see him doing that, then you can change that. You know, you can you can be like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this wide stick line, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit one of these short passing routes, and you can tear people up like that. Cause they're not, they're just not used to it. They they're not looking for it. They're not ready for it.
A lot of these plays are the same. They got a quarterback roll after that looks nice. Not a bad looking play. I mean, most of this stuff is about the same. I mean, you got a sweep in the pro, but you can't even get this in, in the regular one. You know? <laughs> I, I just don't understand why they why they got this game broke like it is. I mean, they just hold you back. Hold you back. That's a cool looking play there. The Ohio concept. <laughs> oh, Steve, you like that. The Ohio concept. He'll like that big time. So, that's about it for this book, guys. I mean, there's nothing in here that's just real exotic, except for this. Now, this is another exotic play. I got to go back over this one again. I've never seen a toss out of the near. There's your toss, guys. That's exotic. He's going to steal that, that inside backer for you. He's going to try to catch somebody pursuing that fullback is. I wonder, I wonder if we can motion that fullback on that. Just bring him on outside. Just tell him, hell, it's coming. <laughs> Just let him know it's coming. <laughs> the damn thing's coming this way. Oh, look at that. That's, you know, you can put him out there. There it is. There it is, guys. Hell, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> and, and then just like I said, there's your backside. Right here's your backside play. When they over pursue on that play, you hit them with the backside. Or go back up through the gut there. I mean, what's safe about running this back up through the gut is, is a lot of times you, you're at least going to get a couple yards. So if you ran this toss on the first on first down, let's say you pick up five or six, and then you come back and then you no hull or whatever in this situation, you could do that because you, know you know what your audible is. And then you could come back and run, run this dive and pick up another couple yards, and then it only leaves you like third and... You know, third and two, third and three. It's a lot easier to pick up, you know, than sitting here having a third and a mile. Or even if you did that and you lost yards on the, on the toss, you might be able to pick them back up by coming out no huddle. You know, even if you even move this fullback again, he don't necessarily have to go up the middle. He won't let you move him that way. Yeah, well, he made, made him move that way. I think he can go this other way. I didn't see the arrow. Maybe it won't let you move him that way. Hmm. That's strange. You, you would think it lets you move him out, but I guess it won't. Hmm. Well, we can't use that as a disguise. I figured you'd they'd let you move them back out, out there the other side of Reese. And everybody thinks you're gonna come back with that with that toss sweep again. <laughs> Can come out with that with that same look. But just just run up the gut, you know. There's a lot of stuff that, that can be done, guys. You just gotta get creative. You know, you gotta look at every angle, look at everything that you can do on a play, so Well, guys, I guess that's about it. Um, you guys have a good night. Um, we might try to get into that into the Joe Gibbs book tomorrow. That'd be a good one to get into and look at. You know, we'll get into that Joe Gibbs book tomorrow. We'll look at it. Um, until then, guys, y'all be safe and uh, y'all have a good night.